are here, ready, open, and as fabulous as possible. These are your sweets, Makita and Melanie, and you're now listening to Girl. Girl, what? Now, usually our shows begin with a drink of the day, yeah. but we don't have any drinks right now, but I will tell you what, we did have some shampers. Sh- we had some, sh- I know, I say <laughs> shumper And I say bubbly. And that's what we had earlier today. No, no description, just wonderful champagne. And so, this is a special episode. As you guys know, it's Saturday night. We usually are, 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 are on live on Sunday evening. Which we will be. Which we will be. We are going to be episode back to our 21. regular scheduled program. But tonight, we're at Shine. Shine. We're at the live location at an event. It's called Shine, Spirit, Hope, Insight networking event and this was awesome um i don't know if any of you guys remember but about two weeks ago uh we had a guest uh, meg nacero was on our show and, and butterfly she, and butterfly well, we gave lovely, her the name yeah, butterfly. we gave her the name butterfly not to be confused with butterfly the poet the poet that was on last week yes um but butterfly <laughs> meg's daughter at which she is amazing and so she was telling us about the, this this project that she is working on um, called Shine. This is actually her third annual event, and we were extended an invitation to come and participate and uh, take in this event. This is my first time coming here. This is my second one. I'm and so, place. so far it has been amazing. And so right now we're just taking advantage of the special guest that was here, yeah. and we actually have what the keynote, the Kiki, the keynote. you know, because we go big <laughs> and fabulous, <laughs> and we have the keynote speaker here. I will let her introduce herself to you. Hi, so can you say, girl, what? Girl, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> So, um, just give us an introduction and, you know, take us on your journey. Yeah, so my name is Megan Murphy, and I'm a woman's empowerment coach and kindness activist and, you know, all around just lady that wants to find joy and happiness. And so I started uh, this project where I paint inspirational messages on rocks. And I leave them for people around randomly, hoping to brighten somebody's day. How cool is that? This is awesome. I love how you um, call yourself an empowerment coach and kindness activist. You know, some people think of activists as not necessarily a positive. That's true. But in this regards, this is nothing but positive energy. And I love it. A kindness activist. Yeah, and the key in the activist for me is just to act. Yes, just right. To do. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's a verb. I know. It's an I action. Know. <laughs> it, it, it's amazing because, like I said, um, I was saying on Facebook Live, I see myself as the Jamaican Oprah. Yeah, and you are. And I, <laughs> hopefully, I'll just be Makita. But for now, yeah. you know, I like that because it kind of it gets me in the mood and it helps me see myself bigger than myself and Oprah to I think many of us including the women in this area uh you know it it is she she's she's everything yeah you know and so I'd love to hear your Oprah story yeah so I was the last time I was in Miami was in 2014 when Oprah was here with her event um live the life you want and I actually got to meet her backstage and it's what she said um, when she spoke to the room and she said, I want you all to be in service of others and that when you are in service of others. It's some technical difficulties, you know, (laughs) it it can't be. Hold on a second. I don't know, something happened. (laughs) Anyhow, um, when you... (laughs) These are behind the scenes behind radio the scenes. things. And we, and we record it all. Yeah. We love it. So anyway, so she said to be in service of others and that in 
being in service of others, I would find my true passion and joy. And when she said that, the hairs on my arms stood up and I was like, yes, okay. I didn't really know exactly what that meant. I was so grateful to have met her and got that message. And so that started my journey. Oh, my God. And the cool thing is that Meg was there that day in those two days. And you were there. And you were there and I was there in those two days. And we each saw her at different capacities. Mel, Mommy Meg saw her on the stage where all the lights shining on her and then you saw her backstage and then me I'm like walking across the street leaving I think the second day and um you know going to my car and guess who rolls on by with her big hair out the window Oprah and she's like literally like right in front of me and the person I was with she puts her head out and she goes ha, like that and I was like is that Oprah I was like shocked for a minute. I would have died. And, a, and it was an Escalade. <laughs> I think that she was in an Escalade. It was yeah. I would have lost it. I, I would have yes. just started screaming. Her and energy I, is amazing. Yes. Isn't it? yes. Yes. But not just her energy. I found at that event that the energy of all the ladies that yes. were there. Like, I found myself walking around the fields. They called it like Oak yeah. Village or remember something. That? I remember yeah. That. It was nice. I walked around and I just was like, like tr- having conversations with women from all over the country that I would just that were different than me, and I wanted to learn about mm-hmm. their story. It was, it was awesome. It was like an empowerment workshop, like time. Mm-hmm. I, I say to like the hundred power. Yeah, oh my that's kind of like what yeah. it was. It was cool. Now I know you have um, what is it called? The rocks. The oh, yeah, Kindness the Kindness Rocks, Rocks Project. Project. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, I loved, you know, the story of you leaving corporate America and trying to figure out what is it that's going to make you happy yeah. for your next chapter. And so you were telling sharing. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, strangely, it's found in a rock, right? <laughs> so in the places that you would never expect them to be. But I live on Cape Cod, so I walk the beaches every day. And so when I was trying to find out what my next step in life was, Mm -hmm. I looked for signs and messages on the beach. And things like heart-shaped rocks and pieces of sea glass as signs and messages when I was asking myself those big life questions. And then I realized that other people were probably experiencing the same things Mm -hmm. in their life. They they were seeking something. And, um, And so, you know... To shorten the story, I brought a Sharpie with me to the beach one day. Just I had no idea why. It's not like I planned, I'm yeah. going to go to the beach and write rocks. I just <laughs> put the Sharpie in my pocket. And then when I got to the beach, I, I dropped five rocks. I wrote, picked up five rocks, smooth rocks, wrote messages, dropped them on the beach on a mile and a half strip. And that very night, one of my friends texted me a picture of one of those five rocks. Oh, my wow. God. Yeah, which is divine intervention. You yeah. know, and she said to me, if you drop this rock on the beach today, it changed my, you know, my day. It oh made me happy. Goodness. So yeah, but that that's how it works. Like it's the universe. Yeah, it's the universe. I I'm feeling like, you know, I was having I I randomly, I won't say randomly. I went to a UN empowerment event on Thursday, and uh, and so we're. It's like we've just, it's continuing to have these same dialogues of mm. questions and how do we connect and empower each other? Mm. And a lot of the building of our communities start with women. Right. And it, you know, I, there was one aspect where a, a woman work, um, stood up that was from the Women's Fund Initiative, or, and I'm probably messing up the organization's name, but they um, had been working on. How do you turn? How do you build up the the uh, the economies, or how do you get someone that is from poverty or middle income into a better another um, income? income bracket. So they they kind of identified you connect and you help the women, mm-hmm. and so they were for twenty five years or so they were writing and, and putting together different grant programs for women and kind of testing the waters. Now they're trying to, you know, reconnect and figure out, okay, the grant aspect can help their businesses in this way, 
but how is it allowing for these now business owners to you know build uh, build staff and have their businesses growing so it was just one of the many conversations mm. that was happening that day and so lo and behold I decided to reach out to the board member that stood up and I didn't reach her but I I, I spoke to this other woman who then connected me to someone else and it wasn't so much the connection of them wanting to introduce me to someone else, but it was the engagement in the conversation. She doesn't know me. I don't know her. But somehow, in my heart, it allowed me to open up and have a deeper conversation with her. And of course, I shared with her my breast cancer story randomly enough. And then she was sharing intimate stories of what was going on in her life and how she relocated from D.C. here. And again, it, it, I'm just feeling that life is pushing us in the direction that everything that we're doing is to serve a, a, a bigger purpose. And so, you know, I'm, I'm so glad to be here and uh, sitting with you. And you know what? It's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm very big on that. Any of you that follow me, you know, like, I'm, or follow Team Shit Enterprises, um, I'm always about find your purpose. You know, like life is 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 about your your journey should be every day to figure out what is that thing that God put you on this earth for to do. And no money, no fame, no fortune, none of that matters if you are living a life and you don't you're not even tapping into what that thing is in your heart. That you know what your gift is. We all know what our gift is. It's that thing that when you're doing it, you don't think. You have no concept of time. Your heart feels good. Like, it, it just feels right. If I'm not encouraging anybody to just walk away from your job. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I'm, I'm a teacher. I, I still teach. Thankfully, I feel like I live, I'm living the life because... Teaching allows me to do this other stuff. The schedule of teaching allows me to do this other stuff. And I, was, I too, like you, was in corporate America. I was a senior financial analyst for, for automation for, for years. I was CFO of nonprofit organizations in Fort Lauderdale. So at a very young age, I had that experience. And when I was working for AutoNation, yeah, it was great. You know, you get the all the you know the 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 perks, and you get to be in the skybox for all these events. But it wasn't doing anything for my heart. And so, and just for the record, nothing wrong with AutoNation. Nothing. It's, no, no, no. Just so I'm talking happy. about me. We're talking about my purpose. And let me let we me back. Want any no, but let me let me back let me back up. The thing is, the thing about life. If you, if you really tune into the steps of your life, there are pieces of every moment in your life that eventually come all together and connect. And it helps you figure out why you were there in that space at that time, learning those things for your ultimate purpose. So me going to college, me, you know, my major was advertising. I was not in education. I, my family were educators. But I'm now a teacher. Like, now I'm, I'm a podcaster. I have, you know, I do interior decorating. But all of those things have helped me to do this. Like, I, I to, to brand, my, brand us, brand myself, to do my own advertising, do the advertising mm -hmm. for the show, do all the publications for the show. I was in school for advertising. So then I didn't know where it was going to go. Got a master's in communication, didn't know where it was going to go. In high school, I was always in journalism, yearbook editor, like all of those things. You don't know how it's going to connect. You just don't know. But you just got to trust the process. Exactly. And so, yes. again, the Kindness Rocks Project is, is one of those. And I think that's kind of that story. Yeah. Is, is yeah. that story. Exactly. You just picked up a Sharpie and just said yeah. you didn't necessarily know what you were going to do, but right. you just went. Yeah, I didn't plan on Yes. It. Of course. Right? So exactly yeah. to your point, everything in my life had brought me up to mm -hmm. that moment. 
It's like the stars connect. Yeah. Yeah. Even this podcast, it was a conversation. You know what? We talk a lot. Let's record. Exactly. (laughs) And here we are. And you (laughs) never know what the other person who's listening, that message that they need at that very moment. Exactly. And that's what life is all about. (laughs) Figuring out your purpose, but the whole point is to be provide something for somebody else. It's not just about you. Because you, like you say, you don't know. Somebody could have just tuned in. Somebody we don't even know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and we said something and they had been thinking about pursuing something and it just, you just, you just don't know. But you just got to speak your truth and live your truth and don't be afraid. Everybody's not going to like it. Everybody not, is not going to understand it, but you just do it. Just do what your heart tells you to do. And so now, besides the actual, what is the the rock project exactly? It's literally yeah. just saying, it's a movement. It's a, yeah, it's become a movement. So you know, I started dropping a few rocks, but then there was a hashtag hashtag the kindness rocks project. So people started joining around the world, and it's in about ten countries, and communities are doing it, and. Yeah, I think the Facebook page has 65,000 followers. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. And it grows by 1,000 a week. That's awesome. So people are are craving this inspiration. And so it's a movement. It's just a kindness movement. There's really nothing more to it. It's just recruiting people to do kind acts. And it doesn't have to be a rock. No. You know, like, the the point is it's not about the rock. Because here's here's the real thing. Somebody finds a rock in their day. They're, Mm -hmm. They're traveling down a road. They always travel. Yeah. But on this particular day, there's a rock with a message on it. And they pick it up and they relate to that message somewhere deep inside of them, like a fortune cookie. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, this has meaning for me. Mm-hmm. And that's not what it's about. It's the next moment when they realize that there was another human being that wrote that message for them. So there's the connection. There's the connection. Yeah. It's the energy. They're connected with that person that they're not alone and someone understands them. And then they think, oh, yeah. you know, that's what it's about. I love that when you got here and you were very transparent in that you said, I didn't have anything prepared. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. No, I love it. It didn't because, I love you know, I'm big on I think that. it's relatable because a lot of people aren't necessarily prepared. Well, sometimes we pretend that we're prepared, but we're not necessarily, we're not, sometimes we're not truly prepared for the moment and this is a significant moment this evening and for you to share that to me um again it just it 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 reminded me that we're all doing what we're supposed to be doing i I think when you don't plan it that's when your heart is the Mm rawest yeah when you don't when you don't have a script you just okay let me just and that's kind of how we got this show like People are like, okay, so what we got to talk about? Um, I'm not telling you. Yeah. I, like, I'll give you an idea, but we don't have a script. You just If we make a mistake, oh, well, life make, I mean, we make mistakes in life. And you just like <laughs> you said, though, to your point before about, like, trusting, right? Yeah. Yeah. You trust that the words are going to come mm-hmm. or the inspiration is going to come. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. And, you know, you got to take each step each day yeah. and pay attention. Yeah. Because it's all around us, and, and you're a conduit for that, too. So it's, it's just being more mindful and present and be yourself and authentic. And yeah. Like, before we started, I was like, Kita, you sitting on the wrong. You don't oh, normally no. sit on I, this I, side. And she was like, you want to switch? I'm like, no, nah, let's just stay. Because we sitting like this for a reason, so let's just stay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what, because I know that you have the women's empowerment well I won't say women I'm saying it's women. everybody the empowerment yeah. component so yes. what is it how do you go about empowering someone if someone comes to you and says they are looking for their for they they want your services what is it that you actually provide yeah so when you when you're a coach a life coach mm-hmm. the interesting thing is it's not like a mentor it's not or like therapist mm-hmm. it's basically I reflect questions back to them. So when they ask me a question, I a question I, ref, I I guide them through a questioning process so that they uncover it themselves. Mm-hmm. Because that's what we all need to do is uncover it. Right. Someone can't tell you what your plan or purpose is. Mm-hmm. They can only help you uncover it and dig at it. Yeah. And so I kind of, you know, metaphorically give them a shovel to dig deep and to go to that place that maybe they just don't go. They just need guided questioning 
to bring them there. So that's what I do. And wow. so the empowerment doesn't come from me. It comes from them. Yeah. That's amazing. I think sometimes people just need that push. Like, yeah. just somebody to, like, give them that comfort zone to know that, you know, it's okay to think outside of the box. It's yeah. okay to, like, tap on what you know is, is deep down in there that you really don't want anybody to know or you're not sure because you don't really have a plan. It's okay. And, and the problem is, it's because our egos, we all have egos, yes. yeah. our egos cover it up. Yeah. And so whenever we, we think we tap into mm-hmm. it, and we're like, oh, I think this is it, then your ego goes, ah, no, you're not, because you're going to look <laughs> yeah. like a fool, yeah. and you can't do that, and who do you think you are? And the ego starts talking, yeah. and then that, you know, that, like, conversation you have in your head, yeah. that you think you're crazy, yeah. like, it, that that's your ego. Yeah. So, yeah. So having somebody who can guide you and navigate around the ego. That's amazing. Now, Megan, is it? It's not Megan. It's me. It's me. Yeah, like me. Another M. Another M. And my daughter, Melanie, Melanie, and Molly. Meg, Megan. I was just gonna say, and Molly is not here alone. We have Molly and beautiful. Madeline and Molly. Wow. Ma- Madeline and Molly are also here. I want. What What are your thoughts on mommy and what? Mommy, you, another and, <laughs> and um and this whole movement that she's yeah. created. Um, it's really been like a journey, and it's. I'm really proud of her. Um, it's not like every night that you get to see her go up and speak in front of a bunch of people. It's more like the little things, um, the little differences that like she's made in her life that are more inspirational to me just as her daughter. Seeing her like go through this entire process, like like when I was younger, she was a completely different person. Like I mean, I don't, you weren't a completely different person, but you were very different. And so. Um, I think it was kind of just seeing that you have the freedom and control of your own life, that you can say, I want to make a change, and I need to make a change, and I'm going to do it. And she did that. You know, she walked away from what she had, and it was, like, you know, no strings attached. And I think, um, like, growing up, I'm in high school now, and there's a lot of decisions that, like, I'm faced with. You know, and, um, like, in society, like... I don't know, we always feel like we have to know what we're doing next, and we always feel like we're obligated to go from, you know, high school Mm -hmm. to college, be the best, achieve, Mm -hmm. set goals, but there's never time to stop and reflect on, am I fulfilling my life purpose, am I making myself happy, and being surrounded by everyone who's in the same exact boat as I am Mm -hmm. in high school, that's how society is, um... I don't know, you just gain a real appreciation from where you come from and how you're raised because, I don't know, my mom's just been a prime example of that and, like, leading me, and I feel like I'm really thankful for that, so. Now, awesome. are you the one that are, that's in college? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I was actually just going to say, so everything that she just kind of spewed out about how, um, how inspirational, everything, how her journey... Mommy wants you to sit down. Oh. <laughs> so you can get closer. <laughs> Jeez, wow. She's talking to me with hands. So okay. um, That's so, how mommy's doing. Right, yeah. So, yes, it has been inspirational watching her go through her journey because, like she alluded to, um, I like to call it, because I went through one myself, a dark night of the soul, where, which everyone expects. That's actually a spiritual term. I'm very much in spiritual. Okay. Um, and that's that point in someone's life where they feel so upset because they don't feel like their life is going anywhere so it manifests into sickness depression um you know some people get suicidal I ended up so backtrack I was in school and I was about to be a junior in college so that's pretty far into college that's a lot of money spent too um, and I was studying communications and I decided I, was, I wasn't happy. I, it physically manifested into depression and anxiety. Um, and this is while my mom was actually going through her whole transformation. So, um, it was before she kind of got all of her accolades that have been coming through for mm-hmm. the Kindness Rocks project, but I did see how much happier she was at that point. Um, so I removed myself from school because I was like, you know what? I need to just take 
like 10 steps back and just do, just start over. You know, yeah. I need to, I need to find myself. I was also in a pretty toxic relationship for a while where I mm. lost myself. Um, and you know, being a young woman where relationships are an image are so prioritized in our society yeah. today, right. I was completely lost. I had nothing other than just being in a relationship. So my dark night of the soul was where I ended up, we broke up, I wasn't in college anymore, and I needed to do my soul searching. So I started um, a little bit of a body positivity movement, so I started my own blog because I've had insecurities throughout my whole life, and I think that everyone's um, soul purpose, their personal journey, because we all have our unique Mm -hmm. gifts, those are kind of... um, reflected in our struggles throughout our lives so if there's a constant theme I feel like that you're picking out through your childhood and your high school experiences mine was insecurity so that's where I'm starting my blog so that I can help oh, other cool. young women who might feel insecure um and might feel like they're supposed to have a certain image and not have a voice mm-hmm. or have talents and they're just supposed to look pretty or be in a relationship or some sort of thing masking who they really are. I want other girls through my writing and my blog, I want that to come out so they can shine. Like yes. they shine about uh, I know, I know. You know. But that's so that all actually came about through watching my mom, which does really show you that um, you know, people's decisions and what you see how people rise out of the ashes like a phoenix, I guess you would metaphorically say, um, it can have an impact, you know, just hearing someone else's story. I love yeah. it. I know asking you guys to come well, come over and sit at the table <laughs> was going to be oh, that's awesome. interesting. Yeah. But it, no, no, this yeah. Is Every awesome. show is always, always, <laughs> yeah. always. An adventure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you share with us your blog? Yes, and absolutely. whatever it is you'd like to promote. Yes. Yeah, and we're going to follow sure. you. Yeah. And yeah. hopefully that's what we're trying to write. Oh, and we're just going to keep building our network oh, and building and building. So, um, <laughs> it's so funny because I actually just started. I, I've been working on it for a really long time. I've done, like, some photo shoots with – I did a photo shoot with um, a photographer in my local town where – I, he painted body positive, or my mom actually painted body positive phrases on like my arms and my stomach and stuff like that. So I've been preparing it for a while, but it's called, um, lovely me body positivity. Oh, and it's at, um, after body positivity, it's dot squarespace.com. Don't forget the local photographer in your local. Oh, and my household. sister also. I don't oh, know. Oh, you do photography? <laughs> She's really or... artistic, so she ha- and she has a really good camera. Yeah, so she well, takes pictures well. with my sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that's, so it's been cool. So, um, you know, I, I want to do videos and I want to do blog posts um, because I was a communications major. Writing has always been my strong mm-hmm. suit, and I personally feel like I'm more organized in writing with the message I want to put out there. So, um, and it's funny because the same sort of validation, how I think my mom shared either on this talk or her talk before at the event, how she got validation on the same day that she wrote on that rock, how her friend messaged her Mm -hmm. saying, Oh, well, if this was you that wrote on that rock, I want to let you know it made my day. Actually, after I launched my blog and kind of announced it on my social media, um, a girl that I had never really talked to, she was a little older than I was, but she was in my sorority when I was in school, personally um, messaged me and she was like, you know, I don't know if you remember me, um, but I'm so-and-so and I just wanted to let you know I had the fortunate opportunity to click on your blog and I read it and I just wanted to say that I think you have so much strength and power that I don't see among so many young women. Wow. And That's I want to let you know that I think that whatever you want to do in the future looks so promising if you can be that strong to put something, you know, I put my story out there mm-hmm. as an intro and um, that validated for me, you know what? As a confirmation. That you did yeah. right. the right Yeah, thing. so that, it was, it was kind of a um, parallel to what happened to my mom, which I was like, you know, that's it universal whatever that I needed to keep going so I'm going to be doing weekly posts now I'm oh, excited it's, that's cool so you yeah. have a you have a social media f- yeah okay you yeah yeah too. so it's um my Instagram is Molly T Murphy and then Facebook it's just Molly Murphy but mm-hmm. yeah I have those linked to it Molly T. Murphy. I'm writing it yeah. down. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah that's, that's, yeah, that's right. We're trying to yeah, spread. 
Yeah. Our network. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. It's, it's all oh, about our building. And this yeah. is this yeah. is awesome. And so yeah. we're just so excited and so appreciative to have been invited to be here. I love uh, that we got to connect so, with you for this. Seriously. I know. I know. Yeah. So, um, you know. One of the things I noticed that was really cool about your mom that she didn't mention is that she is a 2017 Old Magazine Insider. Mm. So you know, she I'll she mentioned her. it to us before, before the before yeah. we got onto onto the pod. Yeah, I'll let her talk about that a little bit. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. So it's really great. Um, o Magazine is is wonderful, as you said. Oprah is very empowering, and so the magazine does great work. And you know, there's a bunch of us that you know work to spread that message. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're trying to do too so I, again we are i'm so thrilled and thank you so much for taking the time to come over we appreciate it your pleasure. story so you guys. Tell us about we have somebody doing. pretty coming, coming yeah. by i just want to quickly tell you so before we go the perfect rock always finds the perfect person so pick a card and whatever rock Ooh, is on like the other the side here's a message for you you can't always lug around a bag of rocks yeah so the, so the cards are <laughs> The rocks on the other side. So. Oh, oh. Keep both. Maybe you yeah, maybe you need both. Three. I think she's the most beautiful oh. in the world, no matter what you look like. I love it. So mine says breathe. One of them, because I picked two. And actually, two is like one of my favorite numbers. I was like two on my line in my sorority. Yes. So um, breathe and then. The other one says, kindness makes you the most beautiful person in the world, no matter what you look like, which is awesome. I have been very emotional the last few days, and I will not cry. Um, But one says, beautiful soul, and the other one says, be present. And it is what I try to do, and I I really try to work on being present. And... You gonna cry? You cry? How many times? It's okay. Cry it out. We you know, we're where we're supposed to be. We yeah. We're right where we're supposed to That's be. Right. And um, so today, and look, look at the rainbow. So today, um, we were gonna wait for the tomorrow show, but earlier today we had the third annual because this is the third annual. Um, shine event, but we had the third annual ALS walk, and I have a smile for mommy team, which my mom passed away from ALS. So then, and um, so we had a team, and so we're out there. I don't think we were we walked yet. No, we hadn't started walking. And it had been raining and stuff, and um, we were waiting on a couple more team members, and we look up. And then there's this huge, like, rainbow. Like, oh, huge, I mean, huge. Unlike, rainbow. like, and normally you see, end. like, a rainbow and it's like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this it one was, was, like, all completely. the way over. Oh, and and it so re- it was like, like, you know, her mother was there yeah. with us. Yeah, and, and looking at this rainbow yeah. on this rock yeah. <laughs> with beautiful soul. Again, it's just, yeah. I am. I suck. <laughs> no, it's cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the juicy but, stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness it's audio because my eyes are probably red and I'm tearing. You're pretty crying. Yeah, she you does are. cry pretty. You me, I'm like an ugly cry. <laughs> me too. I'm, I'm an ugly cry. That's how people love my God. 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 Yes. God. Yes. I do the ugly cry. She has like the pretty cry. The lashes. <laughs> they flutter. Yeah. <laughs> but again, you know. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah awesome. this is great. Especially with everything that's going on in the world right now. Like, of course. This. Can you believe we have not spoke about anything political this evening? We're not. And we're not we're going to. About love. And we're we talking we about doing love. Yeah. We ain't doing it. But I just yeah. wanted to point that out. Yeah. Yeah. I said nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all about love. <laughs> so I was hoping Meg would, I guess they're still going, um, but she's going to hear it because she's a subscriber. Um, we're sitting here, Meg, and we're just admiring our view. And you did an awesome job tonight. You brought together a bunch of beautiful people in a beautiful space. 
And we're here talking to your keynote speaker, who's beautiful, and her daughters are beautiful. I know. And everything is beautiful. And so we're in your magical universe, and we hope you hear this. <laughs> and you rock, girl. You shine. And we're glad you invited us. And is that yeah, it? And that's it. And we're going to let you guys enjoy oh, yeah. the rest of your evening as well, much as How can they find you, Megan? Yeah. Yeah. Find you at the end of the big girl one. Well, we do. Oh, in a second. Oh. And you can fail with us. Right. How about that? <laughs> but tell them where they can find you. Okay, yeah. So you can find me at the Kindness Rocks with an S, like Kindness Rocks Project.com or Megan Murphy Coaching. M E G A N Murphy Coaching. You, wanna, you got a site? You got a site? You want to say? Oh, yeah, my. Mine is um, lovely me body positivity dot squarespace dot com, um, or you can find me on Instagram. It's Molly T Murphy. Um, Facebook too, if you want to friend request me. Um, I post all my blog stuff on there as well. It's just Molly Murphy. So those are mine. And we're girl what? And you can find us on Twitter, um, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, girl what? G U R L W H A T. And most importantly, we are on iHeartRadio. Yes, iHeartRadio. And are we going to end early? Uh, yeah. Oh, we have eight, so we're eight minutes left. Wait. We have eight minutes left. We have eight minutes left. So, you ready? Yeah, we can end our show with our quote. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I remember. <laughs> this our quote is actually a verse. Colossians 1.16. All things are done through him and for him. And in that, on that note, you, you have been, been tuned, tuned into Girl! Girl. <laughs>